Hey, Crazy Will here with another Crazy Will quick tip. If you've been watching my videos, I am currently working with the M1 and don't know if I want to keep it yet or not because some programs don't work with them. Just to recap, I have the MacBook Air M1, 8 gigs of RAM, base model, and it wasn't running Cura. And you can watch my video here where I talk about in detail what applications work with 3D printing and what applications don't work. And Cura was one of those programs where it wasn't working. It kept crashing and basically doing this. Yeah, it would freeze up and kill the whole machine. Well, one of the workarounds was to go ahead and use an older version of Cura, which was Cura 4.8. So I did that, but when I would use it on Baby Groot, a, a model that I was working on, and if you watch that video, you'll see that, it would crash, and it would crash bad. It would either pixelate the whole screen. So even with that version, it wasn't working. So I'm like, there's got to be a workaround. Well, I went on some forums, and I found some information, and I'm going to share with you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the MacBook Air and talk to you guys from there and show you the little trick that I found. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Cura. Let that run. We're running 4.9. Before we do anything is we're going to go up to Ultra Maker Cura up here in the corner here and go to Preferences. And all we're going to do is click on this right here. Force Layer to View Compatibility Mode. So we'll put that on. If you notice in parentheses here, it says restart required. So we're going to close this. We're going to close out of this. And then we're going to open up Cura again. And now the change should take effect. All right, so now we're in here again. And I'm going to open up the model that in my last video that I was having a problem with, which was Groot standing. I'm going to open it up. For some reason, he's small. I don't understand that. But I'm going to put him 1,000%. We're going to go up a thousand percent. So we got Groot and this was the model I was having a problem with. I could slice it, but I couldn't preview it. So I got adhesion. I got basic settings done. We'll go ahead and slice this. All right. And the slicing is done. We'll go to preview. And now we can actually preview it. Now it's not a perfect preview, but we can preview it and see what it looks like. And if you notice the bar going across the bottom right here, you don't have anymore. So you don't have the ability to see the head actually working, but you do have this ability to actually see the infill and see what's going on. So you do get that ability to see the printing of the model. You, you don't have the other option, but at least you have some representation of the way your model is going to be printed. There you go. Now, it looks funny, and so I thought, you know what? Let me do a print before I do this video to prove that it really does work. So the first thing I did was a filament test cube. There you go. There's a filament test cube. Looks like all my other filament test cubes worked out fine. Sliced on the Mac M1. I actually printed Groot just to show you. Now, it did have a mess up and that was more my fault at the fingers because the support I put in was too much for the fingers and when I tried to break it off, I broke off his finger. But there you go. Proof that it actually works and does a really good job. So yeah, my journey with the MacBook Air M1 has been a difficult one for me because because I would like to keep this computer, but it wasn't working with Cura. So now it works with Cura, basically. I'm still on the fence, but I'm leaning more towards keeping it. So if you're in the boat that I'm in and you're a 3D printer and you want to be able to use Cura, hopefully this helped for you. If it did help you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications when I have new videos coming out. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better. 